So quite often when I'm trying to make tutorials for you, I need to create some sample data and that can be quite a lot of work to get all set up and prepared to make a quality product for you. One of the things I need to do on occasion is to create a set of random strings of characters. Perhaps for example, like I have here for a password generation list. Not so long ago, this would have been a very difficult task, but now with the new Lambda functions, this task has become a lot easier. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Lambda function that allows you to create a string of characters in any matrix of rows and columns. If we say we want a string length of five random characters and a set of seven rows with eight columns, then we now have a matrix of a random set of characters for each one of the cells in our desired rows and columns. Please note that these passwords are generated dynamically, so will change every time you update the sheet. Now, the best way to learn is to follow along. I have a copy of the starter sheet in the link to the written tutorial in the description below. Check it out. So there's still quite a few steps in the process, so let's get started and I'll walk you through. Okay, so we start off first with a character list. What I have here is a list of alphanumeric characters along with a character set that is friendly to the English version of Google Sheets. If we put in, for example, an equal sign or a double quotation marks, that can mess up Google Sheets because it recognizes it as a function or, or whatnot. So this is my character set, and you can find a copy of this character set in the written description that's available in the link below. So the first thing we need to do is find the length of this character set. And we can do that easily with the length function, which is len, and then we just select the cell that it's in, which is going to be this B1 here. And it tells us we have 91 characters. That's gonna come in handy. Now, one of the cool things we can do now is just get a random character from this character set. And we can do that with two functions now. We can get a random number between a range of two values with the rand between function. So let's just put that in, in its basic form. So rand, rand between. And let's say we want our rand between to start at one and end at 91. Cool. So the first time it goes through, it's going to say 63. Uh, the next time it could say two, next time it could say 91, next time it could say five, for example. Now we can use this number to identify the location in this string uh, where we want to draw a character from. So to do that, we can use the mid function. And the mid function allows us, I'll just drop this down for you, allows us to return a segment of a string. So first thing it takes is the string itself. So that's going to be this B1 up here for now. So we've got mid B1. And then the next thing it's going to take is the starting at value. So we want this rand between number. So anywhere, any random location between these two values. And then we want the extract length. So we only want to extract one character. So let's close that now and hit enter. So this gives us a colon on our first iteration. Grab this and select all, control A, control C, and hit control V. It changes again. So I've got two samples of this mid ram between, and they will change dynamically. Cool. So we're going to keep that in the back of our mind. And the next thing we need to do as part of our password generator is to create a sequence. Okay. And this is going to give us the amount of characters that we have. So if we look back in this example here, that's going to help us get this string length that we want. We can use the sequence function here. The sequence allows us to create a matrix of rows and columns with a starting number and a number of steps between each number. So for us, let's just set one row and five columns. So it's how many columns across. This column is going to be our most important part here. And then in the sequence, we're going to set the starting point, which is going to be one. And then our steps is going to step up. So change by one value. Okay. So now we've got a range of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So now into the Lambda functions. So as a part of Lambda functions, there is a map function and the map allows you to do something as it iterates through an array of values. An array is essentially a range of values in cells in Google Sheets. So this is a B9 to C11 array that I've selected. So let's convert the sequence to a random character. Let's put in our map. 
And as you can see, it says map maps each value in the given arrays to a new value. Let's open up our brackets. And the first thing we need is an array. And we generated that from our sequence, which was up here. Instead of just referencing this, let's start adding in some values. So let's say sequence. And our row is going to be one. And our column is going to be five. Now, if we are just going to start at one and our step is going to be by one, we don't need to include the extra values. So let's just close that for now. Now we're going to add in our Lambda function. This allows us to create a custom function inside our cell. So it's going to take a variable or a number of variables and for us, just just put it in cell. So our Lambda function here is saying for each cell, then we want to do something with that cell. So our formula expression. And for us on each cell, we want to do this get random item in the string. So if you remember, let's go roll back. So that was mid B1 for this range of characters up here. And then our first starting at rand between our low value is going to be one and our high value is going to be this length here, 91. And then we want to extract a length of one in that section here. Cool, so we've closed our mid now and we need to close our lambda function and we need to close our map. Okay, I think we're good there. Cool. So now we've got a row of random characters here. All right, so we're partway there. We're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We've got a randomized row of characters. We need to combine them now into a string. And we can do that with the join the array to make a string. So let's go ahead and grab this map function here and copy it. All except the equal sign. Hit control C to copy and tab. And here we'll hit control V to paste. And this time around, let's go to the front and hit equals and we'll just use the join function here. And the join function takes a delimiter. So what do we want to space each item we're going to join together by? We don't want to space by anything. So we'll just put two double quotation marks side by side and add a comma in here and then the value or the array. So that's what we're going to create with our map. Let's close that and hit enter. So now our joined value of random string numbers is this here. This brackets n n o and hash. Now we can always change the length of that by going into our sequence here and changing this to say 10 characters. And you can see that now it has changed. Cool, so you might wanna stop there, but what if you wanna create a array of these characters quickly? So for example, look at my example two here, I've created a password list. Now, I didn't want to just put in the formula here and drag it down. It's much easier for me to generate an array for these passwords. Cool. So to do this, we can use another function that's bound to a Lambda function. And this one is called the make array function. And this creates a, a calculated array. So it's similar to sequence, but it's allowing us to have a bit more versatility in the array that we're going to generate. So our first argument in this is going to be the rows. So how many rows do we want to generate in our sequence? And let's just say five for now. And then how many columns? We want two columns. And now we need to add in our Lambda function. Now this time around our Lambda function needs us to have two arguments because we've put a row argument and a column argument. The weird thing here is we're not actually going to be using those arguments in our Lambda function. So just to make things a bit clearer, let's just uh, hit control and enter to make a few new lines and put it in a double space here. So our first argument is going to be the row, row underscore index. And the next argument, control enter space space is going to be the column underscore index. All right, control enter space space again. So now we want to put in our formula expression. That's going to be that join map. So let's just uh, tab out of here. You'll see an error in a moment. That's okay. We'll tab out of here. Let's head over to this join map and let's just select that for the time being, all except the equal sign. Hit control C to copy and head back to our formula and hit and just go in under our column index and hit control V to paste. And now let's press enter. 
Okay, so now we've got our matrix of five rows deep by two columns wide with a random string length of 10 characters. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is we can't just leave this B1 hanging all the way out the top here. It's probably a good idea to add this into the entire formula. Cool. So let's just go ahead and grab this formula again, hit Control C to copy, and go down to our B19 and Control V to paste inside the formula bar up here, and just tab out and head over to our string. And we're going to select the string with a control C, head back down to this B19 and where we've got this mid section here, let's just add two double quotation marks and then back and then control V to paste in that string of characters and everything should be okay. Now let's hit enter. Okay. So we've got the entire thing all set up. The last thing you might be might want to do is to be able to quickly change the size of your random string length in each cell and also the row and column width and depth of your array. All right, so let's start off by generating a couple indicators here. We'll hit Control B, Control I, we'll say string length. And the next one is going to be rows. And the next one is going to be columns. Nice, and our input fields are going to be below. So just select that range by hitting, uh, holding down shift and clicking on D26. And let's just put a bit of a border around it. Change that color to a dark green. And we will fill it with a light green. Cool, so we know that's an input field. Nice, the next thing we wanna do is grab our formula. So let's go ahead and grab that. Control C and tab out and put our formula in here in B27, Control V. All right, so now we need to know what things we have to reference and change. So bef before we do that, if we're going to reference empty cells, it's gonna come up with an error, which is not going to be good for us to test. So let's put in some values. So we want 12 random characters in each one of our cells. We want four rows and we want five columns. Now we need to change our cell reference. So the first one is going to be the number of characters and that's in this sequence here, this value here. So let's reference, what is it? Let's just hide that for now. B26. B26. Cool. So if we change that now to four, it'll be four characters. Back to 12, be 12 characters. All right, so now we'll change our rows. So it's going to be C26, and this is our row up here. So we'll C, C26. And while we're there, let's change our column to D26 and tab out. Cool. So now if we adjust these values to uh, anything we like here, then you can see that the values are adjusting. Cool. So as I mentioned at the start, these values are dynamic. That means they, if you do something in a different cell, if we say hi, for example, notice what happens to the passwords, you see that they change. So this is ideal if you're generating sample data, but if you wanna keep those passwords the way they are, we need to transform this formula into just simple strings. So to do that, if you want to copy this data, you just copy the range with the, by selecting the range, hit Control C and put it wherever you want. You can hit Control Shift V just to paste the values only. And now if we make a change, we might say U, you can see that this array here are just plain values, but this array here is the formula and it will change dynamically. So that's it for creating random strings or passwords in Google Sheets. Check out the link to the written tutorial below if you want further instructions or copies of the formula. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more tutorials on Google Sheets or Google Workspace and Google Workspace development, hit that subscribe button. Until next time.